Wake Girls, born February 26, 1929. His siblings, Gerald, Bud Curl, Virginia Kersey, Donald Curl, and Emily Adams are all deceased. His early childhood years were in Blanchester, and later they moved to Sublime. At the age of 17, in early December, he stayed home from school and worked with his brother, Donald, to finish picking corn. His brother took a wagon to the house on Reed Road in Spina. Clarence somehow got his arm caught in a bear. Before going into shock, he threw corn cobs at the lever, trying to shut it off. When his brother found him, he was rushed to Xenia Hospital, where he lost his left arm to the shoulder. Uh, being left-handed made his recovery difficult, but he worked hard, sometimes taking him twice as long or having to rig something up but he would always figure it out. There was nothing he couldn't do. He even played basketball again that season. He said every Friday he'd go to Doc Wade's office hoping to be released, and every Friday Doc would look over his glasses and shake his head no. Finally, one Friday he reluctantly said yes. He ran home, got his suit, and was ready to play. He scored a basket that night, and the gym went wild. He always laughed and said, heck, I could have scored a hundred baskets because nobody would guard me that's afraid they'd hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> he graduated from Reeseville High School, or as he called it, the Brain Factory. In 1948, he married Jerry Carmen of Wilmington, who he was dating at the time of this accident. They had two daughters, Kathy and Stan Floyd, and Chris and Steve Sharp, four grandchildren, and ten grandchildren. Clarence farmed, milked cows, worked at Cincinnati Millicron, an international paper, before retiring. He was a Richland Township trustee for 32 years and took so much pride in the Richland Park and the Sabina Cemetery. He was a Mason, a Shriner, member of the Spina Lions Club, a basketball referee, a softball player, and more. Clarence passed away at the age of 77 on 18th of May 2006. Jerry was the daughter of Raymond and Ruth Cooper. Her siblings, Raymond Carmen and Peggy Jenkins, both preceded her in death. She graduated from Wilmington High School. She later worked for John Stewart, Nick Vandewert, Alan Chance at Sahai Grove in Sabina for many years. She had many hobbies, but her favorite was playing cards. Her mother, sister, and sister-in-law all drove school buses. So on days when the roads were just too bad for school, she would pack up the kids, drive to her mother's, and they'd play cards all day. <laughs> Most of all, they both loved their family. Jerry passed away at the age of 77 on the 13th of August, 2007. I don't think he knew. He taught Chris and I how to tie our shoes and you know, all the other things. Of course, we never saw him any other way. You know? yeah. mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah. but yeah, he would figure yeah. out a way. They I just bowl with him. He used to yeah. get bowl and if somebody yeah. handed him a ball, it's like, don't give me that ball. <laughs> he couldn't <laughs> yeah. so yeah. He wanted to pick it up on his own. I think it was. Um, Lodge that there somebody they were going to have there was in a wheelchair, and they came and asked Dad if he mind, you know, pushing him in. He kind of looked at him and he said, "Well, I can do it, but we just go around in circles." <laughs> 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 but 